It's B1. Six one oh oh one one. I'm sitting here on the site of the old Lofthouse Colliery, now a nature reserve and a park. Of course, mining has been going on in this area, oh, since the 1300s. But in those days, the pits were small shafts of 20 feet, or a drift worked into the hill. Outward Community Video organised a guided walk around the old Lofthouse Colliery site for a group of old miners, numbering about 20 in total. After the walk, all the miners were in up in arms because there was no evidence at all of what was Lofthouse Colliery. The first part of the project involved the creation of a permanent memorial to the colliery situated at the side of the London Leeds main line. It comprised a four metre high obelisk and a large five tonne minecar. I started work for the coal board in 1965. I finished in 1973. I was the first female to work full time in the offices and my job was as a contometer operator and that was the machines that came out before the, the computers. Uh, my job was to work the timesheets out for the miners. Some right characters at Lofty House. I remember my first day there uh, I think they called him Shepherd, the training instructor, were taking us into the fitting shop and I, I looked at me and I says, when do you have your lunch? He says, it ain't lunch here, lad, it's snap. <laughs> and then I went, we'd all to go wash his hands at lunch time, or snap time as they called it. I remember going into the toilet with cold tap, I saw they had one single cold tap, cold water running out. I went last in, didn't turn the tap off like nobody else did, and my ears looked booming at me. Do you leave tap running at home? In order to mark the shafts, a GPS device was used to locate them and they've been permanently marked with gabions filled with shale.
That's why we built Nation. Right. Me this morning to take part in the unveiling ceremony to mark our country's mining history and heritage. Obviously, today marks another chapter in Lofthouse College's life and times from 1873 to the present day. Uh, I should say that tribute should be made to the Outwood Community Video Group, the Lofthouse College Action Group, along with the local council for devoting so much time and energy into ensuring that the college site still has a, a role to play in the local community even though it was shot by the coal board in 18, 1981. Uh, the Heritage Trail is also a tribute to Fred, Colin, Frank, Sidney, Charles, Edward and Alan, who died in the disaster of 1973, but also to all the other miners who lived and died working at Lofthouse Colliery. I'd like to thank Chris on the behalf of Lofthouse Colliery Action Group and, and, and Outwood Community Video and Wakefield NDC. I'd like to give him, as a thank you from all of us, this figurine that is carved from coal, I tell a lie, made from coal, made with coal. So on our behalf, Chris, please accept this. It's called End of an Era. Mick, uh, I mean Michael, it's a few years since we stood here. I about 60. I've still got my Rothwell Grammar School cap and my train spotting book. And I've got my combine and my snake belt. And you can still buy them tiger nuts. Shall, Shall we? we? 